Hello guys, Garcia here. This is part 7 of our Eye of the Beholder playthrough. So as you can see, we are still here in the 6th floor. So we are still looking for the stone ring, which is one of the obviously stone items that we need to teleport around. Oh, hey sir. This dude literally came out of nowhere. Come on. She's really not hitting uh, the arrows. Wow, that's unbelievable. I think they need to rest. Come on. My god, imagine if it was like if it were three, we would be in, in a huge pickle here. Alright, my god, that was absolutely terrible. I think we need to rest. Not only are we taking massive amounts of damage here, but we are not hitting our attacks. And Manami here has been missing a lot of attacks too and when she misses that means that I have to walk around grabbing even more arrows but to be fair to them <laughs> this guy just came out of nowhere he just popped into existence alright so let's try to rest here but I don't think it's going to be actually possible we are going to be interrupted here, for sure. Come on, going well. Well, we were actually able to do it. Alright. Okay, so hopefully no more attacks coming from behind. Okay, so let's move forward. Uh, yeah, no buttons, no nothing. So from the other side probably, so I can follow this path here and I can go here, hmm. so let's see, nothing here, nothing here, okay, this seems like a good old dead end here, so the only path is through here basically, um, buttons, no, Oh, another locked. Huh. So I guess we need to take the, the opposite route here. This is probably the place we end up, not the place we start our exploration. Hello, sir. One more. I'm not going to even bother with the arrows on this one, to be honest. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a point, I think maybe in the next uh, level, in which we are going to face bigger packs of this uh, monster here. Okay, so let's walk around. So this is the side we decided to explore first. This is uh, the hole we fell. So we opened here. Alright, so let's check it out a little bit. Alright, so far, nothing. Checking the walls. Uh, I think we're good here. So this is uh, the rock, which is the, the spot we are using for directions here. And this is the stairs. So I think we just might have like exhausted the place we 
places we can visit here. Which probably means that I need to fall into on a specific roll, uh, hole in the, the floor above. So I can open a few of the locked doors. I'd much rather uh, fight these dudes in corridors instead of like in these open spaces because you can obviously get attacked from behind and from the sides. Well, at least we are gaining some experience here. That thought it just leveled. Alright, so one more. I already have access to the next level, so it could also be a case that uh, we should go to the to level seven. We and probably during the exploration of the next level, we will be able to find ways to go up a level, so I can open the places that that are locked in this level. That is a possibility too, because I'm already basically walking around in circles here because there's no place left for me to explore the only two doors that I found are both uh, locked from the other side so no point so I think that's what I'm going to do is this rock magical? maybe Oh my god, from behind, that was not nice. These guys are basically like Jason Voorhees or Michael Myers, they are just incredibly sneaky. You just see the damage and then you notice that they are out there, but they don't do any sound, no shuffling. Come on. That's the biggest problem while walking around this specific part of the game is that either on the floors above you are always constantly dealing with uh, spiders and here down here you are always constantly dealing with these guys and I don't know if they respawn or not but sometimes I feel like they do because they are just constantly Showing up, you know. So yeah, that's the position of the door. The other door, so... We're basically back. It could also be uh, possible that there's like a passage here. Not this passage that I'm just <laughs> looking at, but another passage. But yeah, I've checked enough, and I think this is probably not the way to go anyway. So I'm gonna go with my theory that I'll eventually be able to open these doors using a different uh, method. The only thing that I'm afraid of is not finding the, the ring. I think it's the ring, I don't know if it's the next uh, stone item that we are going to find, but I think it is the ring. Okay, so I cannot turn here, so I have to go here, yes, there you go. So we are back on... We are close to the teleporters here. Oh, so this is the... I'm trying to remember. As you guys know, this game is absolutely... 
Painting the S to navigate. There you go. Alright, so I just need to remember which was the, the order. Uh, this one. Maybe this one. No. Came back. So this one. Just did the same thing. <laughs> okay. There you go. Yeah, I remember this place. So what which one was it? I need to find that place where I opened with that place that I opened with the two levers. Here. That's the place I need to find. Okay. So I'm going to proceed in this level, but if I don't find what I'm looking for, which is an entrance to go back to the sixth level, then I'm going to have to go back. So I already opened this. This is a big hall. This is where the darts start. I explained this in the last episode. So I'm going to walk around first. Oh, I think here is the place where I'm going to have to fight the the mage NPC. So I'm actually going to save here. Because I might lose a character here and I don't want to. Not yet. Later on we are going to have several options. Right now we don't. Yes. So, you interrupt a dark-robed figure. He's startled at first, then sneers in recognition. All right. Oh, you water deep saviors of the week. You don't uh, realize how many others, adventure other adventurers have been sent to find the truth about the evils underground. Well, uh, rented redeemers, let me give you the benefits of my vast and profound knowledge. Xanathar's, uh, Xanathar has been undermining Waterdeep for years. When Waterdeep is uh, sufficiently weakened, he will lead his minions in conquest of the, of the unsuspecting city. The only way to stop Xanathar is to destroy him. And that would be virtually impossible without the wand of Sylvia's. As I understand it, uh, the dwarves have a ma uh, the magical artifact, artifact, but they do not know uh, what they possess. Uh, the draw, draw uh, I think, is the draw. Uh, know that the wand of Sylvia's is powerful, but not of its use against Xanathar. You see, the wand is one of the few magic items that can affect, uh, affect, that can affect. Is that correct? That can affect a beholder, a beholder, because it is made from a beholder's eye stalk. Stupid draw. They're supposed to be Xanathar's allies, but they plan to finish off the dwarves, steal the wand, and use it to raid the city. This would alert the Lords of Waterdeep. And they are already very alert men to the immensity of the threat from below ground and delay Xanathar's plans of conquest. So I have to stop the draw and get the wand of Sylvius for myself. Uh, so he's just a James Bond villain, just explaining uh, the plot for us. You see, my friends, I have no intent uh, or no intention of stopping Xanathar until he has completed the conquest of Waterdeep. After the conquest, Xanathar's uh, will be at his weakest. Only then uh, will I strike. Xanathar will be at my mercy and Waterdeep will be mine. So I certainly can't let uh, you keep Xanathar's from, uh, Xanathar from conquering Waterdeep. So he wants to be the big boss. I need only uh, get the, the wand of... Jesus, uh, come on. Sylvia's and of course destroy you. So let's go. Oh, started terribly. So let's go. 
Oh, so Fireball does not give me damage. That's great. I could swear it did, but apparently not. Oh, damn it. Oh my god, he just killed her. As you guys can see, it's kind of annoying. Oh, sorry. That's not what I'm supposed to do. It's kind of annoying because every time he casts a spell, I get locked, you know? So what happens is, he's, he casts a spell, the, the FD effects go off, and then what happens is, basically, I can't move. I can't execute my attacks, you know? And that's obviously very frustrating. So, one of the eggs. So I'm going to just rest here. I don't know if like, whole person or some such spell helps against this guy, against this guy, maybe. I was going to swap uh, Anya for Tegar, but I wasn't going to. I wasn't being. I had not control enough control of my actions here. There you go. So let's go again. All right. So he always starts with uh, this area spell. Probably Cone of Cold or maybe Fireball, I don't know which one. Come on. Has to be faster than that. He missed? Really? Well, we are missing everything too. Which is funny because he's a mage, so... Theoretically, he should be easier to hit. On. My god. Ooh, that was very hard, man. Because not, basically nothing that I was doing was hitting him. A magic wand. Okay. This is... Mage scroll of whole person that would have been good against him. So Manami here is out for now. But this time she survived. This is the really the first really annoying fight in the game. Um Okay. There you go. Uh, where are... Did I get his bones? No. No bones. Huh. Interesting. Did I get it and just... While I was talking and I didn't notice? No, I don't think so. The bones that I already have are from a different character. Well, alright. I usually put... Oh, sorry. I usually put him on the party. Because he's very powerful and he's a mage. And having extra mages later on is going to be very useful. But if I didn't get the bones for some reason, then I might not be able to rest him uh, at the cleric in the Dwarven Halls. So, might be a case of uh, lo I lost the boat, or I missed the boat. But that's okay. At least we survived here. So let's get acquainted with the level here. So this is the place where we just came to rest. So there's one egg here. I don't want to get the eggs yet, as I told you guys. So I'm going to avoid for now. Let's learn a little bit more about the layout of the level here. 
Okay. So this is the place that I opened. I came through here, so let me localize myself here. Okay, so here we don't have anything. Here we have one egg, right? Or maybe not. Did I get the egg? Actually, I don't remember. Let me check if I have any eggs here. Yeah, not really. Okay. So... This floor is kind of small. This part of the floor, I mean. Because, obviously, there's that big hall that I'm going to explore. That hall is going to be huge. Okay, so we always end up in the same spot here. Okay, so we can already check the hall. There's really nothing here. Except the darts, but I'm not going to do the darts right now. So let's check the, the hall. I'm calling it the hall, but I have no idea exactly where it leads. As you can see, this place is very open and very dangerous because of the, the creatures. There's a teleporter right there, but I'm trying to avoid walking right in the middle of the, the room. So we have a locked door here. Let's check it out. Oh, what a surprise, huh? Oh my god, that's pretty bad. That's unbelievable. Alright, this time at least the fireball is working pretty well. I could swear... I told you guys several times that I could swear that you couldn't like use the, the fireball spell at close range. But maybe I was thinking about the, the cold spell. Maybe. Oh, the mage won got a level. That's pretty good. Because she, she can memorize a, an extra fireball, I think. Poor Anya. She has been absolutely... Uh, she has been taking all the damage, basically. She's basically a de facto tank here. Which is funny with the pal Paladin on the front lines, but... They are attacking. Oh, oops! Attacking her constantly. So another egg. Okay. So all of that for an egg. Awesome. Maybe I should rest here. And let me use create food too. Has been a while. There you go. So I'm pretty sure she leveled. So let's see if I can get an extra fireball here. I can. There you go. I don't think I can uh, move. Okay. So having these two fireballs is going to be pretty good. So as I told you guys, uh, they are going to come in more impacts in this level, I remember that. And that obviously can become a huge problem because if like they chain critical hits or starting just start just like spamming spells, I might lose like half the party during a combat, so Alright, another door. And another door. Alright. So there's another group. So there you go, let's go. 
trying to move. Got locked again. Come on, come on. I think what you actually can't do with the fireballs is like release them too close to the walls. Ooh, there you go. I don't think I'm getting this item here. Uh, I don't think I need like an extra staff or anything. So there you go. Another egg. And another egg. There is going to be a room called uh, Nest or some such uh, similar name. Which is the place we are supposed to dump all the eggs in the level. Oh my god. Alright, there's only two. I don't think I'm going to use my fireball here. Uh, change of plans. They are hitting everything very hard here. So Anya now leveled. When she hits, she really does pretty good damage, but... We have been missing a lot of attacks, obviously. But that's what happens when you are playing... With... Basically... Uh, attacking with two weapons, you you hit uh, less frequently. All right. So as you can see, we have a lot of eggs here, but this is not the the place called nest yet. So I'm going to leave all the eggs here too. So basically, so far we have been just finding these rooms with eggs, and eventually I'm going to have to gather them. Okay, so this is another one of those egg rooms. So we are at the very end of the hall here. This is what I'm trying to avoid. One is fine. I don't want to be ambushed from behind. I'm not going to use my arrows here. Not a good idea. They could move like several, they could end up several squares ahead, and while I'm trying to get them, they can gang up on me, you know? Obviously they are kind of slow, because everything in this game is slow, but I'd rather avoid it. There you go. So as you can see, I'm trying to just bring them together here, so I can just use like a fireball. Actually, I don't think I have a fireball anymore, have I? No, I don't have a fireball. That's going to be very problematic. If it starts to go south here, we're just going to run and lock ourselves in one of the, the egg rooms. Come on. Come on, Anya. You need to hit. On. I got lucky, the other ones didn't come for some reason. Maybe they were too far. It's possible. Come on. These guys have a lot of health. So let's rest. I need my fireballs. It's kind of annoying doing like, like this, but it's the safest way. And now she has a lot of HP too. Alright. Now we need to group them up. Right, so 
there's one here, two here. Um, I don't think the third came. Yeah. At least in this position I can use my arrows, so alright. One more attack. Come on. And as I told you before, these guys give a lot of XP. So we are getting a bunch of levels here, which is great, but it's slowing us down a lot. Not using the fireball. Missed. Usually the, the, this, the arrow based spells and the, the bow and arrow, they usually hit folks in the second line more. So when there's like four of them, it's easier to hit. But obviously you don't want be, to be like constantly in the position where you can or in which you have to fight that many enemies at once, especially this type of enemy. This place is huge. Uh, so this one takes us where? I don't remember which item this is. So let's try to do this quickly. So uh, it's, it's in, it's in, dagger it's in, the scepter is in. So none of these. Actually I think is the ring. The one we need to find is the one that we need to use here. So as you can see this place is just gigantic man, just gigantic. Let's try to do this fast. Come on. The archer can only like shoot in a straight line. So if the enemy doesn't reposition, if they if he just like stays on the right side of the screen, we just can't kill him with the arrows. It's impossible. Okay. Alright. So we have to go little by little here because this place is huge. So, first door, let's see what we have here. Oh, this is the dart place, okay. So we are going to avoid this for now. Round and round. Oh, I think this is the place where we need to use our daggers and darts and stuff. Luckily I have a key, but I don't think this is the key that this door, or this door, that this wall apparently needs. I think this is the place. So do I need like one of those golden keys? Let's see. No, it worked. Great. There you go, so it kind of opened. As far as I remember, I have to do this, this room little by little. So you like keep adding items to these walls here and they are going to open. Uh, not open, they are going to like vanish. Little by little. This is the place where I probably need to go to proceed with the game. Meaning to go to the next level. Okay. Oh, this is also a dart room. So let's avoid this one also. I'm avoiding just because I don't have space and I'm going to need actually need the the darts. This is the nest. This is the place. Oops. Well, naturally there would be a feel in the nest, right? Makes sense. So we need to gather all the eggs 
and I imagine we need to put it them all right here. But as far as I remember, I actually need the eggs. I need to take the eggs to the next level too. Because if I remember correctly, the the drawers, you can like make a deal with them. If you give them uh, the eggs, they will not attack you in that level. Meaning that you can walk around just like in the Dwarven Halls and they will be there, but they are not going to attack you. I think. Alright, so... I think the only place left is the dart rooms. I'm calling them the dart rooms, but yeah. And I need an extra key. I don't think I can lockpick that key. I'm pretty sure I can't. But I'm still, also, I didn't forget that I need to find the some way of opening the two doors on the floor above. I need the ring. If I had a ring right now, I would be able to use it already because we are right at the teleporter that needs it. But no such luck so far. The spellcasters have not been giving us too much trouble. The spellcaster, the, the, the NPC, did give us a, a little bit of trouble, but so far nothing like no deal breakers. Alright, so in this level, this is the only place that I have to explore. So I'm going to have to do the dart, uh, dart thing right now. But I'm going to go back because of a very specific reason. I need to open up inventory space. And I am not going to just dump my like all my items in a random spot. I'm going to put on a place that I can find them again, you know? Hmm. Damn. Eh. So am I locked here? Nope. Okay. Alright. So the idea is keep walking around until you find the place you need to go. There it is. This is the place I need to go. Or needed to reach. I'm back on the Dwarven Halls, which is the place I wanted to go. Yes, there you go. There's no formula to this. As I told you guys, it's basically just try to remember the important places. So I'm going to drop the, all the stuff right here. So the cleric is here. I'm going to drop my stuff behind this this dwarf right here. I'm going to drop everything that I'm not going to use for now. Oh, all right. So, what am I not going to use here? This. I don't know if I'm going to need this. Scroll of slow, scroll of slow poison. Hold person. Also, I'm not going to need this. Um, the rations, right now I don't think I'm going to need them, maybe ever, maybe. I'm not, going to organize, I'm not going to organize everything, otherwise we're going to be here for like forever, so I'm just going to drop the stuff. 
Okay. So Anya is going to have a lot of space here. There will be a lot of back and forth. Uh, just walking around gathering stuff because I need the darts to open the way, but I also need the, all of the eggs. And then after I put all of the eggs on the nest, I need to get them again because I'm going to use them on the next level. So it's kind of annoying. I am not going to drop any weapons on the ground because they could be magical and I don't and I don't know if they are or not. So I need to find a way to discover if what I have is good or not first. Eight. I don't need this. Also don't need this. These I'm going to need. All of these daggers and the dart. They are part of the process of opening the path to the next level. Scroll of Flame Blade. Never used it. I'm going to keep the shield. I don't know why, but I'm going to keep the shield. So just to be safe, I'm going to keep these four rations here. I am not taking this with me. This is... Oh, I have to actually scribe scrolls here. Alright, you can stay. I don't think I need a staff. I don't think I need this either. Uh, this might be magical. This also might be magical. Another one of Flame Blade. Okay, so we got a lot of space here. So let's do this before I forget. I have whole person and invisibility now. There you go. So this was the idea. Basically, just dump everything in a place that you remember. They are not going to vanish or anything like that as far as I know. I never lost an item like by dropping them into the ground or it into the ground. So I think we're good. All right, now obviously I don't remember the way. So what I'm going to do is just to go down the, the stairs. Not here. Here. Oh, hey. <laughs> what a surprise, huh? What a kind man. He was just waiting for us. Show us around. What the what what are these creatures called? I have no idea, to be honest. I've been playing like D and D and RPGs and stuff for like two decades. And I have no idea what these creatures are. Oh, sorry. I wasn't supposed to do that. But there you go. Come on, recover. Thank you. Oh my god, they are all here. Maybe they respawn? At least our cleric leveled up, so more healing spells, hopefully. Come on. There's another guy behind him, so I'm going to actually use a fireball here. Not by mistake this time. They are all attacking Anya because she's on the the right side. Oh, she did a great one right there. There's another guy. My God, he's starting to get pretty dicey here. They are all hitting her. I'm going to have to leave. That one got pretty bad there. Ugh. It's like they are were all lined up, just waiting for us for us to go down, you know. Those items that I am leaving behind. I have no idea if they are going to be of some use one day. 
but I don't like to just drop stuff randomly. And that's basically a sin. How would you just leave your loot behind? They are like your babies, you know? Oh, alright. My god, that was way harder than it needed to be. I'm actually going to eat this stuff because I don't want to refill my in Oh my god. Okay. I'm not going to shoot the firebomb this guy. Now she's missing <laughs> on the other side. That's amazing. When I need her to keep doing what she was doing, she changes her pattern. Alright. Hopefully now it's okay. Hopefully. Oops. Oh. Don't eat the arrow. Alright, so... Yeah. I think something's up. Maybe I opened a path to some place that I didn't explore before. Or something like that, you know? At least we are gaining a bunch of levels here. Ooh, the mage just gained a level a few minutes ago. She already gained another one. So I can't lie, this is helping. But I don't know what's happening. I have no idea this was possible. I think every single NPC in the level got alerted by our presence. And all of them are coming in this uh, general direction, you know? Yeah, there's gotta be something, right? It's not normal. You know what this feels like? This feels like those generators in the Gauntlet games. You know, Dark Legacy. As long as you don't break the generator, they just keep sending you enemies. Maybe it's because I opened the nest and they got mad. Who knows? Even our warrior is getting levels here. Oh my god. Maybe I should move. The problem is they are coming uh, through exactly the door that I need to pass through, you know? So even if I don't meet them instantly, the moment like I turn a corner might be like four waiting for me. And I need to get the arrows too, I, don't, I just can't leave the arrows behind, there's no way. And as you guys uh, remember, obviously I just rested and I'm already with 14 on Sean here. He's like two bad criticals away of being basically dead. All right. Yeah, okay. Time to bail again. <sighs> All right, so uh, change of plans, basically. So we are going to have to uh, stop this episode here because it's already pretty, has been pretty long. I was not expecting expecting the entire level to come come back all at the same time. I think we already killed like uh, 15 of them, maybe more. So we are going to continue this in the next episode. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode.